Now you've been basically on the road officially with, with the guys all summer, right? Yeah, I, I walked away from a, from a very good paying job of, uh, last October and have been living the dream of a lifetime ever since. That's amazing. Now, to the point that you can isolate one highlight, is there one from the past year? In the touring? Uh, just in general. In general? Um, I think the biggest highlight for me was the day, August, it's almost a year ago, August 29th of last year, when the, when the thrift shop video actually dropped and I kept hitting refresh and refresh and, and the numbers just kept getting bigger and bigger. And I just looked out the window of my job and went, oh, this is so not good. <laughs> But, two know, months later. Yeah, yeah two, months, two months later, we've gone around the country. Three months later, we're in Australia, New Zealand, touring all around the country, meeting some really great people, having the time of my life. Now, what doors has this opened for your own music at this point? Well, I just dropped an EP. You can find it at wantsmusic.com. And uh, I've been, uh, been talking with some record people to see where's a good fit for me, because there's not my kind of voice out there in the, in the business these days. So it's a wide open lane. We're trying to figure out how to, how, how to, how to approach it correctly. Excellent. What advice have, have your boys, Macklemore and Ryan, given you on, on that tip? Uh, be patient. Uh, and, and know what you want. You don't go into a restaurant and just say, give me some food. You order something. So they've, uh, they've, they've encouraged me to be very specific and uh, have faith in myself. Now you're up for several awards tonight. Is there one that would mean the most to you if, if it happens? Uh, the one that I'm particularly, the thrift shop video is, is my baby because, you know, I'd, I'd never been a part of anything like this before. And after doing 25, 30 years of playing music in Seattle and nothing happening, and then all of a sudden, I'm nominated for a VMA. Are you kidding me? It's dream come true stuff right here, man.